Hey everyone, my name is Jay and my name is Josh and I want to encourage you to subscribe to this YouTube channel and click the notification button so that you can be aware whenever we post a defined, inspiring and godly content. It doesn't bite. What doesn't bite? The button. Jay, don't bite. See? You see? Does it bite? No. It doesn't bite. I, I, I think they get it. They get it. No glory. No glory, no blood. No blood. No glory. What was that all about? What are you doing with a knife? Did you kill my mother? Martins, we agreed it was a dream. Then suddenly there was smoke everywhere. I passed out and next thing I was on the bed. It looked so real. Because you created a false reality. But why? You're going through a lot, son. Or you'll get over it soon. See, Martins, you need Jesus. Jesus is the one that fixes broken people. He said in his word, he said, come to me, all your view, it's heavy loads, and I will give you rest. Guy, yeah, I've never been high before. Okay. I heard that thing is dope, like, you got it from Dubai. Martins. Sir. Have I given you your answer? No, Dad. You've given me more questions. I killed your mother. That boy that's he will suffer for this. I will make him pay for what he has done to you and I. What you saw that night was a dream. Hello, Victor. I'm on my way. Pastors keep turned out. I see, I see. How far? Uh, who is this one? Oh, now the guy we have been telling you about. How you doing now? Well, I know you guys are here for some adventure, but... Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. As far as my policy, I can't give you my goods. I don't see money on the ground. My God. Yeah, I know the four you are now. Nah. Good, good. Stay. I know the counter. So. Well? Now he be this so. Now so. Straight from Dubai. Uh, so, as we they call them, knockout. I've heard everything about it now. That's why we're here now. I'll take you to the other room now. No and I'll give you just a bit. You know. 
Ha! What do you mean a little bit? We paid in full now. Why you can't give me small? I can't give you everything. Why not now? Ah! No feeds. If I give you everything, and you overdo, you no go take before you craze. So. Now you're craze. <laughs> okay. Now nah, me, you they follow. Me. Guy, why they do like this? You calm down. Don't talk into you. Why you they do like this now? Nah? I never know where person they follow you play. Shall bring her, bring her, bring her. You go, go do your homework. Yeah. You want to leave here and go home? Go home now. I told you now. I got you covered, guy. Yeah, I'll go see you for the other one. Bro, sure, I'll meet you. I'll meet you for that side. I got you covered. Calm down. You're not running anything, man. I told you. So, it's the night for the sacrifice. Yes, so. How do you feel? How do I feel? So, yeah. Why? You're asking me how I'm feeling. How do you expect me to feel, so, yeah? Killing a human being has never been my strong point. I just keep wishing there's a way out of this fraternity. But, I'm in already. How did you feel? Feel? Yeah. About what? About killing your wife. I did not kill my wife. She was only sacrificed for the greater good. No blood, no glory. No blood, no glory. Remember when we were on campus? We, we came into politics to, to, to make a difference, to make a change, to help the masses, to serve the nation. We were innocent. We were so ready to destroy any monster that stands in the way of progress of this country. So what about now? We are now the monsters. I may be many things, but I am no monster. I do what I have to do to survive. So killing your wife, was, was it for power or for survival? I survived by standing on the grounds of power. And power comes with a cost. And the cost could be the sacrifice of the one you love the most. They don't call you the Godfather for no reason. I am the most respected and revered in this political climb of ours. I have paid my dues. Are you really ready to pay yours? To the punishment waiting for us in hell. Talk of the devil. And who's there? My sacrifice. Jumi baby. Hey big daddy. How are you? I studies. You have not sent the 500,000 error that you promised me. <laughs> That's no problem. Just send me your account details. Uh -huh. <laughs> but when are you coming over to see me? <laughs> My driver will be at your place tomorrow evening to pick you up. Okay. Bye. Yeah, bye. Auntie S.U., don't put your mouth on my matter. It's done. The Bible says in Matthew 7 13 that enter through the narrow gate. For wide is the path, and broad is the way that leads to destruction, and many enter through in. 
Not all that glitters is gold, but at least it looks like gold. Chimoke, Satan's aim hey, is to... to kill, steal, and destroy. Thank you. I go to church too, but I am not stupid to know that whenever you self righteous girls want companions to waste time with, you indulge in frightening, irrelevant, and overused scriptures. But it is still the word of God. Auntie, there are 66 books in the Bible, so don't brainwash us with this your kill, steal, and to destroy philosophy. Chumoke, you see, just listen to me. If you dare open your dirty mouth to preach to me, I'm going to preach my own back. You think I'm the only one that carries big daddies? Big daddies? I have so many friends who are now married to good men. But trust me, their university days was full of so much fun. They carried all the sugar daddies and aristos in town. And now, they are married and settled with kids. Why didn't Satan kill, steal and destroy their lives? And I also know people who were Virgin Marys in school. But presently, they have nothing to show for it. They are still waiting upon the Lord to provide their husband when he's not enough for Mary. Shmoke, can you just let me Oh yeah, talk. Don't allow Satan blind you from seeing the danger that God is trying to shield you from. Thank you, Mommy G. <clears throat> To the right! I said to the right! The egg, okay, you okay, 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 calm down, calm ah. down, woman! Which type of nonsense is this? Oh God! Can I move? Victor now! Victor, wake up! Slowly now! Slowly! Like Are that? You? Yes! 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 Oh. Who lives in the city room and sleep under the car? Keep on the car! 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 Yes, hello. Yes, um, I'm on to uh, Chief Sawyer. Yes, this is Chief Duro Sawyer. Okay, this is the principal of the school your son attends. There is something I would like you to do for me, sir. I'm, I'm really sorry, I understand you are a very busy person and your, your shadow may not even afford the opportunity to come, but um, it's very urgent because it has to do with your son, Martin. That's okay. I would like to crave your indulgence for us to talk about this as soon as possible, sir. Okay, where would you want that? Oh, uh, just don't worry. I'll drive by your school later in the day. Is that okay with, with you? Okay, that's all right, sir. Okay, okay. All right, I'll be expecting you, sir. Your son was found sleeping in the gutter. Madam Principal, please. Don't let's blow this out of proportion. Sir, it's already beyond proportion. And this is a stain on the integrity of the school. Well, there are only two reasons why this can happen. It's either he's high on alcohol or he was on drugs. Raise it up! Yes, sir. Raise it up! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When I was a child, I thought
taught as a child. And I understood as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. You don't want to put away childish things, Abby. We help you to do that. You don't want to buy common sense. We will buy it for you in this house. It is cheap. Abi, mommy. Yes, daddy. How much is common sense now? Daddy, common sense is very, very cheap. When I was a teenager like you, I was dedicated to things of God. I was purpose-driven and vision-minded. Abi, mommy. Yes. In fact, I met your mother in the choir. And I have never in my life slept under a car. Mm. Abi, mommy, have you slept under a car before? No, 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 no. God forbid, but... Then this initiative must be from the devil. Exactly. And we will cast out this evil spirit. Amen. Mommy, Psalm 1, verse 1. I'm going to get up! Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. What rubbish is this? Sorry, sir. What rubbish is this? Sorry, sir. Blessed is the man. Blessed is the man. Who walk not in the counsel of the ungodly. Who walks in the counsel of the ungodly? Mm? 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 Shout it out! Shout it out! Who walk not in the counsel of the ungodly? Mommy, start again. Blessed is the man. Blessed is the man. Who walk not in the counsel of the ungodly. Who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly. Nor stand in the path of the sinners. Nor stand in the path of the sinners. Nor sit in the seat of the scornful. <laughs> Nor sit in the seat of scornful. Now, this is my verdict. Mommy. Daddy. If you will agree with me, I feel led to cut this his funny hairstyle. We are going skin. I'm in total agreement with you, Daddy. Leave me alone. Daddy, please, Daddy, please, Daddy, please. Please, for what? Please, I'll hold it again. That your hairstyle should not be removed. It will be removed! Shut up! Mom. Martins, the chief wants you. Martins, the chief wants you now. I, I can't hear you. The chief wants you now. Nah. Tell the chief he knows my room now. If he, if he wants me, my, my, my door is always open. What now? Ah! Alcohol, weed, hard drug. Now you tell me, which one was it? Come on, answer me! What in heaven's name pushed you inside the quarter, Martins? Since your mother died, you lost every sense of purpose. Now, for how long will you continue like this? I don't understand. What don't you understand? I don't understand why a man will kill an innocent woman and now use her blood for some diabolical stuff. Why? Martins, did that just come out of your mouth or you are simply under the influence of whatever you took? I found the materials, Dad. What materials? The very materials that were all over your office the other night. I found where you hid them. Now get out of my sight. You are talking trash. No death, no glory, right? <laughs> now that doesn't sound like trash to you, does it? Martins, we passed through this. I told you Glory was the daughter of the IG. I confirmed! The IG has no daughter by that name. You made that up. So to answer your question, I got myself high and messed up to escape the reality of having a father. 
who is either a ritualist or a psychopath. You will not talk to me like that. If you knew what was best I for you. I know what's best for me. And sleeping in that gutter is part of it. Because you are mentally unstable, that's why you prefer the gutter on the street to the comfort of your own home. No, because it's better than this about what you built with your blood-stained hands. You will not talk to me like that. You will not disrespect your father. <coughs> If I was a murderer, then what are you still doing in this house? I want to see it all. I want to witness the end of you. To watch a stranger murder you just like you did to my mother. You can talk whatever you want, but I am still your father and you are still my son. You can believe whatever you want, but my father followed my mother to the grave. In this house, I am only a stranger waiting to see how a murderer will be murdered. Pedro! He's here. Will you be joining me? <laughs> I won't be late. Bye -bye. Baby girl, are you having fun? I am having the blast of my life. Good. <laughs> it can't be better than this. I actually want you to have all the fun you can have now because this will be your last. Why are you traveling out? No, not at all. You want to travel out and leave me here in Nigeria? but you might. I still have school works to settle. So I don't think I'm ready to travel out now. Actually, school work does not um, disturb you from traveling out. You don't need anybody to travel out. All you need is you. So many times I have loved to escape from this country, but my parents' grip on me is so annoying. You don't need your parents' permission to travel out. Do I need your permission? Baby girl, you have my express permission. When will you be joining me? In time, but uh, not now. Huh? Big Daddy. Big Girl. Have you ever thought of... Um, maybe... What? What is it? Talk to me. I was thinking that since your wife has traveled out, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The house is empty. You need someone to take care of you. I don't mind. You don't mind moving in? Something like that. Baby girl. Life is about sacrifices. No blood. No glory. I don't understand. You know I know a man who sacrificed what he loves the most in order to gain what he needs the most. Today he has the most powerful voice in the political realm of this country. Whatever he decrees comes to pass. He is highly respected, reverenced and revered. Why are you telling me all this? Because I want that power to Jumake. But power does not come easy. It comes with a cost. Big Daddy. Goodbye, Jim, okay? Is she with you? Yes, yes. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm she's fine. Is Jumoke with you? No, she's not here. She's 
She's not with you. Okay, I know. She's supposed to be here. I know. Okay. Okay, bye. No blood, no glory. 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 So, where did she say she was going? She was all dressed up as if going for a night party. And then she sat down here. You know, she, she was making herself up and then we heard a car honing from outside. And she was so excited. She was saying, he's here, he's here, he's here. Then she looked at me laughing and said, Ruth, will you be joining me? I continued my business. She told me that she wouldn't be long, and she dashed out of the room. And I believed her because this was not her first time, you know, leaving that late. She would get back as early as 1 a.m. But this time it's different. I've called all her friends that I know of. And the day is almost over and she's not yet back. But why did you allow her to go out that late? Why, Ruth? Mommy, I had no choice. But you, you had a choice. Ah, she is your roommate. You were made to look after her. Hey, Ruth. Yeah, I tried. I tried. But you could have done more. I tried to stop her, Mommy. I tried to stop her. She wouldn't listen. I know, Jumoke, you can't hold her back once her mind is made up. The only thing I regret was that when she asked me if I'll be joining her, I wish I agreed. Because maybe then I would have protected her. There was nothing you could have done. Hmm. Jumoke? We kept on asking you the question. Where are you? Where are you spiritually? Where are you in your work with God? But you never give us a solid answer. You once told us to losing you from the yoke we tied you. You even said we were burdens unto you. You wanted your freedom. Hmm. But now that you have the freedom, where are you in this freedom, Jumoke? Where are you? Hello? Yes, it's me. Okay, you found her. Wow. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you. Officer. Me in the gutter, you bloody fool. Me? I jumped in the gutter? Yes! If I jumped in the gutter, then how did I find myself under my father's car? How? The death was reported of a 300 level student of OLC University by the name Jumoke Dadawa. Jumoke's body was found at a distorted place far away from the school premises. It was reported that she had left the school premises at the late hours of yesterday and had not yet returned, only for her body to be found this morning. The police have begun investigation into the cause of the murder and the perpetrators will be exposed very soon. The father of the victim has this to say. We, we, we never expected this. This is a big shock for us. Our daughter are gone just like that. God will judge whoever is responsible for this. God will judge you. God will judge you. (laughs) 
So I'm sorry for calling for your attention the second time. It's okay. But without question, this has gone beyond any intervention. Madam Principal, I beg of you, don't expel my son. Don't, please. That boy just lost his mother and you, of all people, I know should understand that he's going through a lot now. I understand, sir. I also need you to understand that fighting and violence in the school is highly prohibited and is punishable by expulsion. And sir, if we keep him here, it's going to be unfair on other students, especially his best friend Victor, who was also expelled. Mm -hmm. Mm. Moreover, he has no single word of repentance. Mm. Well, I understand. It's okay. Sir, I think what he needs is special attention, and that we cannot provide. That's okay. Um, I really don't know if this could help. It's just a suggestion, sir. M maybe you... Maybe you should enroll him with um, a psychiatrist or something. Just a suggestion. I understand. But thanks all the same. I'm so sorry, sir. I really wish there was something we could do. It's okay. Thank you. How are you? Um, we need to see. We need to discuss. Yeah, yeah, it's very important. That's okay. Can we meet at the club? Thank you. So, yeah, what is the problem now? You just called me out of the blues. Buddy, mm -hmm. did my son call you? Well, he, he, he called me, he was um, asking about one glory, my ah. daughter ah. glory. And what did you tell him? I, I told him my, my daughter's name, as you know, is Nike. I don't know any, ah. you know, Nike and glory. How do they tally? I am done with that boy. What do you mean? Every day, he evolves into this monster. Look, I can't copy him any longer. What's going on? How bad is it? You remember the other day you came by the house? Mm -hmm. As soon as you left, I returned to the house and there he was be before me. He actually pulled a knife at me. What? He heard everything. He heard about our conversation. He held the knife at you? He was very furious. Sonia, you're raising an animal. That boy belongs in the zoo. That's why I need your help. Yeah, that, 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 that's not a problem. There are many zoos around. But they can't we be serious a little bit here? You know, there's a lot at stake. But on that day, we said very little. But he apparently heard very much. Do you know my son accused me of being a cultist? Sonia, why are you just telling me all this? Unfortunately, that's not even the problem. Oh, what can be a bigger problem than this? He saw the rituals. No, 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 no. He no, saw no. everything, brother. He did. This is bad. I can't even explain the hatred that boy now has for me as a father. Whenever I look into his eyes, I see pure evil, pure hatred. That boy is consistently deteriorating in behavior and character. You know, the other time, he was actually found on the streets in a gutter. And today, he was expelled from the school. I can't deal with him again. I understand what you've said, but how do I come, you know, how do I fit into all of this? I want that boy very far away from me. I want to hand him over to you. 
<laughs> so your phone you that's that would be possible, you know, because if you hand him over to me, it's either of two things. He either kills me or I kill him. Simple. So how can you help me now, buddy? Okay. You see, my wife is a devout Christian. As you know, a pastor lives in far away Ocean State. He's someone I admire and I revere very much. So how is this any business of mine? You need this man in your son's life. Through my wife, I can arrange for him to, you know, take Martins and um, allow him to be living with him. I still don't get the connection. You see, Martins is a perfect example of a godly man, you know. Uh, someone worthy of emulation. So where does that place me? Uh, you are a good father, but we are looking for a godly one, you know. And you don't exactly fit into that picture. Now, if you truly want to help your son, you need to detach from him now. You need to stay far away from him as much as possible. You, know, you need to watch him grow from a distance. <clears throat> and this pastor, is it the one you recommend? A hundred percent. I don't see my son buying into this. You don't sell it to him, you push it to him. Simple. How? May I remind you of who you are? You are Duro Sanya, first in rank, order of the secret seer. Whatever you decree comes to pass. If you want it done, it is done. Detaching from my son is the hardest thing for me. But it is the best thing for him. Think about it. Now, what becomes of him when you are gone? And we all know that your privileges in the fraternity ends with you. Sonia, show this boy you are his father. You brought him to this world, you can take him out. What? Gentlemen, that's him. Mr. Martins, you are under arrest. Excuse me, arrest for what? For possession of hard drugs and harmful substances. You can get any area of your choice, but right now, you are following us to the station. What are you talking about? Do you see any hard drugs with me? Officers, take him away. Take him to bear. Ah. Leave me alone! Can I please see my father? Can I leave me alone? Leave me! What is this? What's going on here? Why let them accuse me of something I'm innocent of? Shut your mouth! Was it a lie that you were found in the gutter under the influence of some kind of hard drugs or something? But that was days ago. That still doesn't change the fact that you need some time behind the bars. So you want them to lock me up like a criminal? You are a criminal! That's what you are. And I don't want to be a part of your mess. Take him away. Ah, daddy, please, daddy, please, don't let, them, don't let them do this to me. Please, don't let me sleep in the prison. I will do anything you Stop. want, I beg you. Two days ago, you looked me in the face and told me that I was no longer your father. That day, I lost a son in you. Now look around you. Look! Take a good look at this house because this is the last time you're going to ever step your feet into this house. Ah. You rejected me as your father and now I disown you as my son. Daddy, please, I'm sorry. I didn't mean what I said. I didn't know what I was doing. I was drunk. I was drunk. I was just saying foolish things. I'm very sorry. Take him away. Daddy, please, don't do this to me. Daddy, please, okay. <laughs> Can I at least go back to get some things? There is no going back. For you, the only way forward is out of my house. Daddy, why are you doing this? The policemen here will not be arresting you now because the driver out there is waiting to take you far away from this place. I didn't know what I said. Please don't do this to me. Don't make me homeless. Get him out! Please don't make me homeless because of a secret. Get him out!
mountains. Let me pray with you. Oh, God, you are the God of the past. You are the God of the present. And you are the God of the future. I pray for your son. Heal his past, Lord. Renew his present. Restore his future. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Martins. I changed this number. You can change your number. You can change your house. Wherever you are, I, your father, will always find you. Sawyer, first in rank, hold up the secrets here. What brings you here? What exactly do you want? I am very influential in this state, but that's not enough for me. I want the seat of the president at my fingertips. If you need to climb higher, your blood must take over. He is the key to my promotion. If you have called him physically, then all attempts are failed. Then call him spiritually. 